Hi. Uh, it's a little bit hot in here today. Um, summer in the winter here in Houston. Um, it's End Time. Today's End Time magazine. And it's from September, October 2017. And I think I'll read the editor's note. The editor's note, uh, the editorial is... Is God Blessing America? And that's written by Urban Baxter. So here it is. Is God Blessing America? In spite of the continual political conflict in America, it appears God is bestowing his blessings upon the U.S. Unemployment is at a 16-year low. One million new jobs have been created in the last six months and the stock market is setting new records day by day. Why would God bless America? Early in his presidency, President Barack Obama shocked Christians by declaring America is no longer a Christian nation. He then launched a campaign to legitimize same-sex marriage in the U.S. On June 26, 2015, the Supreme Court ruled in a 5-4 decision that same-sex marriage was a constitutional right. Obama celebrated the Supreme Court's embrace of sodomy by lighting up the White House that night in the rainbow colors of the gay community. Many Christians watched in horror as our nation was led into godlessness and debauchery. I guess that's how you say it. Um, restoring Judeo-Christian values. It appears... The spiritual turnaround is in progress. During the president, during President Trump's inauguration, God was exalted repeatedly. In the name of Jesus Christ, was revoked several times. This practice has been continued by many administration officials throughout the first six months of the Trump presidency. When the month of June came around, President Trump was pressed to declare June. Gay Pride Month, as President Barack Obama had done year after year. The president declined to do so. On July 26, President Trump announced he would ban transgender people from the U.S. military. He tweeted, After consultation with my generals and military experts, please be advised that the United States government will not accept or allow transgender individuals to serve in any capacity in the U.S. military. Our military must be focused on decisive and overwhelming victory and cannot be burdened with the tremendous medical costs and disruption transgenders in the military would entail, he said. Bible Studies in the White House Many members of, the, of President Trump's cabinet have been gathering weekly for Bible study. Health Secretary Tim Price, Energy Secretary Rick Perry, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, DeVos Agricultural Secretary Sonny Perdue, and CIA Director Mike Pompeo are just a few of the regulars. America's top cop, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, also attends the study. It's historic and breaking since. To our knowledge, a formal Bible study among executive cabinet members has not been done in at least 100 years. Disengaging the world government. With, withdrew from TPP. Just four days after the inauguration, President Donald Trump signed an executive order withdrawing the United States from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. This trade bill would have joined the United States of America to 40% of the world's econ economies, which means it would have been a huge leap into a one-world economy. No more climate change. The very first day of the president of Trump presidency, all references to climate change were removed from the White House website. Withdrawal from the Paris Climate Agreement. On June 1, 2017, the President announced the U.S. was withdrawing from the Paris Climate Agreement. This brought howls of despair from the global warming crowd. But why? Not because the, 
agreement would actually reduce global warming using the model for the assessment of greenhouse gas induced climate change developed by researchers at the National Center for Atmospheric Research, even if at all even if all carbon dioxide emissions in the United States were effectively eliminated, there would be less than two-tenths of a degree Celsius reduction in global temperatures by the year 2100. Furthermore, implementation would cost Americans trillions of dollars. Then why is the global warming crowd in such distress? The climate change agreement was the most far-reaching piece of international law ever passed. Those who see world governance as the answer to mankind's future hoped it would open the door to nations accepting the implementation and the enforcement of more and more international statutes. This entire agreement was not about global warming. It was about global governance. U.S. is moving toward energy independence. On January 24, President Donald Trump signed an executive action to advance approval of the Keystone 11. Can't see that right. I think it's 11. X1. And Dakota Access Oil Pipelines. On February 16, the president signed legislation ending a key Obama administration coal mining rule. These actions are moving the U.S. very rapidly toward energy independence. This is going to very, this is going to very critical for us in the times that are just ahead. I will bless those that bless you. God said to Abraham in Genesis 12, 3, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse the him that curse thee. And in these in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. On December 23, 2016, during his final month in office, President Obama inflicted one of the worst imaginable wounds upon the nation of Israel. He supported UN Resolution 2334, which stated that Israel, Israeli presence in Judea, Samaria, the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, was a flagrant violation of international law. The passage of this resolution by the UN Security Council placed Israel in violation of international law and possibly subject to international sanctions or even international military invasion. President Trump spoke out against this action at the time. Since being sworn in as president, he has promised Israel will never be left standing alone again. America is once again Israel's best friend. Could that be one of the reasons for the U.S. being blessed? Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.